so hello guys what's going on here now this is the another tutorial this is not a software type or linux type of tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see a module which is called hmc 5883l it's a magnetometer which used in a lot of applications like with a, it's basically used e with a integration of gps when you are navigating with gps it's highly recommended to use magnetometer these are two magnetometers which i purchased from amazon links will be down in the description don't buy this gy273 module i will zoom it a little bit here and focus it and as you can see it's a gy273 so please don't use it because this type of module has a different because this type of module has a uh, different i2c addresses the original i2c address is 0x 1e but this module has a 0x 0d or something else but please check that out and these are gy271 modules so let's check them out so here it is so let's unpack this thing these are two box strips but I am going to use only this box. First one is a uh, three point VCC ground SCL and then SDA. So let's get started. So after soldering this out, we have this bad boy here, Arduino. We have this bad boy here, Arduino, and this one is a GPS which I am going to use. Uh, but right now, the program is for just I to see scanner, so we can check that out. And we have a breadboard here. The connections are all the all the links of the connections are in the description. So here it is. Um, it's a barometer. We don't need these here. So just pull this thing here, and the connections are already made. But I have to just put it there. connections are made here the SDA will goes to A4 and then SCL will goes to S uh, sorry A5 and this is, this is ground and ground and now I will just now the Arduino is opening and I have this USB cable to plug it in and here we go so if you guys see that uh, previously I have a uh, i2c0d here if i can get a focus to here if you can see it's an 0x0d but it was a fake i think hmc 583l this new one has a guy gy271 so let's check it out and check in uh, i2c scanner so let's upload a program okay the program is uploading and open up a serial monitor and it's like something goes wrong
so here's again a problem here the new device has also same so here's the problem here the new device also have same 0x0d uh, we can see i2c address which is not okay i think so previously i have said that gy273 only has a thing but it's wrong so i totally fucked up here so i have to check another program if it's working or not so let's check it out so the another program is uh, the very basic program which a, which will be uh, send us a HMC3 which will be tell us about orientation which we require for a magnetometer north and south whatever it is so let's upload that program and then upload it's uploading and I have to go down here serial monitor and as if you can see here I have this uh, um, board here and when orientation will change the values are also going to change so let's check it out so the current value is if you can see here the zero okay now I will rotate it slower slower oh oops i have to right side so something went wrong here oops wiring disconnected okay so it's showing a wrong uh, zero degree but i will figure it out let's check an example so i will slowly rotate it at a your direction from south to waist and now it's now north and then it's again zero degree as you can see zero degree is equal to 360 degree so it's going jumping around 359 and zero degree so previously i said that don't buy this gy 273 whatever but uh, this this right here gy 273 also has the same problem 0x0d is a i2c address i don't know what to do with these things but as long as reading it just works fine so maybe it will not damage my drone but i have to figure it out now the next tutorial will be going on a gps how we can configure ublocks gps for 10 hertz uh, output and with 10 hertz output we will combine magnetometer and then we will make a pid loop for our drone so thank you guys for watching and sorry if this vlog is a little different here because i am also working on electronic parts so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video if you like this video please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and if you want more videos like this so my because of my little camera shy my videos are a little like less confident but i'm improving as i make videos longer and better if you want want more videos like these please make sure you subscribe please make sure in the comment section you hit the suggestions for me like making i, I am working on lots of so, uh, projects like this in 3d printing so i am also working on a project of 3d printing so i will make i will make a video on that how we can convert our pcb and cover this up using a little 3d printer box and videos will goes on flow from uh, electronics ki care software to free care to 3d printing websites which you have to use and which uh, you don't and uh, how we can contact to 3d printing companies for 3d printing so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want these tutorials in this channel